Dr. Jaffe, can you help explain how quercetin dehydrate can function as a zinc ionophore and raise intracellular zinc? And can we speculate on dosing? Well, yes, it's a very interesting and sophisticated question. It turns out that when you energize the granulocytes, the dendritic wiggly cells, the fibroblasts, when you energize them with quercetin dehydrate, the flavonoid of choice, one of the beneficial consequences is that one zinc molecule comes in with every coercinin dihydrate molecule that comes in because of better bioavailability into those dendritic cells that need zinc along with magnesium, but they need zinc in order to activate the catalysts that are going to help the cell. So it's interesting how synergistic is nature. And for decades, as you know, we've been following nature, nurture, and wholeness. And when you get down to the molecular level, you find that the good is synergistic with the better. And that means that coercin and dihydrate raises your intracellular zinc while also energizing, activating, and making happier your dendritic uh, first line innate immune defense and repair cells. So it is an ionophore. That means it opens up the ion channel that allows zinc to come in because the cell is more energetic. Its ATP to ADP ratio is improved by coercin and dihydrate. And then mother nature being maternal, you get multiple synergies. So not only does coercin and dihydrate act as an ionophore to raise zinc uptake in the cell, but it actually enhances magnesium uptake, especially if you have choline citrate present at the same time. So multiple benefits. Yes, it is an ionophore in the sense that it increases the ion channel uptake of zinc in the cells that are hungry for it more safely and more effectively when coercin and dihydrate is present.